create and use list box in user form on this sheet i have one command button once i click on this command button it will show me a user form this user form has list box with country names we can see here and two command buttons at bottom of this user form once i select any country name from this list box and click on first command button on user form which is transfer data to sheet then selected value is printed in cell d4 on sheet and when i click on this second command button on user form exit form this will close user form let me click once again on command button which is on sheet select any other value click on transfer data to sheet and let me close this user form again by clicking on exit form so let me explain how we can create all this user form and list box on user form and how we can interact list box and sheet so i'll open a new excel file on this file we have sheet 1 in column a i will enter name of countries so let me enter some names of countries So once I have added names in column A, let me increase font size. Then I'll go to developer tab. Here I'll click on this insert. From ActiveX control, I will select command button and I will drag a command button on sheet now i want to go to vva editor for that i can double click on this command button or i can press alt f11 so i'll double click on this command button on left hand side we can see this workbook and sheet one so i am selecting this workbook right click select insert and user form so this is the user form and this is small window is toolbox where we can see different controls labels text box combo box list box so i will select list box here and i will drag a small list box on user form so we can see that on left hand side we have property window where name of this list box is list box born if i select user form then this property window will show name of user form which is user form one so let me increase size of user form now i want to assign values to this list box for that we have one property of this list box so let me scroll down we have property named row source here i will give a reference to range where we have name of countries so we have name of countries from a1 to a9 on sheet 1 
So how we can write this in row source property? I will write name of sheet which is sheet one. Then sign of exclamation and then a one colon a nine. So range is on sheet one a one to a nine. So we can see that all the country names are added in list box. So font size is small. So let me increase font size as well. And then I will click on this user form. We can see this toolbox. From here, I will add one command button here. For this command button, in caption property, I will write transfer data. Let me increase font size for this also. One more command button. And this command button I'll use to exit form or closing the user form. For this also, let me increase font size. So now we are ready with designing part of this form and we are ready with list box with values. So what I need when I click on this transfer data, then selected value of list box should be transferred to sheet in any cell. So here in this example, I want to transfer in D4. So I will double click on this command button and right here, worksheets, sheet name is sheet one dot cells to write value in D4, row number is Four. column is D that is 4 dot value equal to we know that name of user form is user form 1 dot list box 1 dot value On left hand side, let me double click on this user form again and double click on this exit form. So when I click on this command button, I want to close user form. So I'll write here, unload user form one. Now what is left? On sheet one, we have this command button. So double click on this command button. And here I will write show user form. Let me show user form may not be right. So I'll write here user form name of user form is user form one dot user form one dot show. 
so now we are ready to test this let me close this VBA editor window and now I will click on this design mode so that we are out of design mode once I click on this command button we can see that user form is there so if I select any value or any country name click on transfer data we can see that value is transferred in cell d4 i can click on this exit form to close this user form so for d4 let me increase font size so that it is clearly visible let me click one more time on this command button select any other value click on transfer data and we can see that this list box is working and we can close this user form so this is how we can easily create list box in user form uh, we can assign values from any range and there is one more way of assigning values also so let me tell you that also I will go to VB editor on left hand side I will double click on this user form we know that name of list box is list box 1 so what I will do I will double click on this user form by default we are getting click event but I need user form initialize event so if we click on command button on sheet to show user form and at that moment we want to add or automatically added values in list box so we can write here and how we can write list box one dot add item space and inverted commas whatever value we want to give in this example name of countries this line will add one value or country name as one item in list box so we can repeat this list box one dot add item space Australia so in this way we can add add as many items as we want so this is another way of adding items in list box so I hope this tutorial is helpful to learn about the list box this is basic example of list box if you have any question around this topic you can write into comments or you can send me email thanks for watching you can subscribe to my channel for more vba tutorials